For those who have Outback taste, but an impressive budget, Subaru offers the all-new 2013 XV Crosstrek, a versatile go-getter for the active lifestyle crowd. In many ways, I felt like I was test driving the new Forester all over again, and both cars carry the same base sticker price of $22,805. But while the Forester looks tall and dorky, the Crosstrek looks young and inspired, an attractive design from a company which struggles with such matters. Body and chassis enhancements over the Impreza, such as a raised suspension with high strength components offering nearly 9 inches of ground clearance, wider tires fitted to sporty 17 inch wheels, taller ride height, and unique body cladding give the Crosstrek a resume suited for off road work. And that's exactly what I did. A paddle shifted manual mode for the continuously variable transmission made it to Subaru's superior all-wheel drive system, aided my confidence to take this car down some pretty rocky, rutted, and muddy trails, and I could not have been more impressed. Backed by the adequate power of the 2-liter Boxer engine, I'm sold on the benefits of Subaru's symmetrical all-wheel drive system, because there's no way I would have taken some of its competitors here. It feels solid and more than willing to take on some legit rough stuff. The Crosstrek is perfect for going off the beaten path with your gear. With the rear seats folded, it can gobble up two bikes. And of course, Subaru offers a plethora of bikes, ski and kayak racks, and other accessories to make it even more utilitarian. When on the pavement, it's still a fun to drive, agile, comfortable riding little car, making 148 horsepower and returning excellent gas mileage of 25 MPG City, 33 Highway, though those numbers drop off by 2 MPG to the Impreza wagon. But by fitting the Crosstrek with a larger gas tank, it actually goes farther on a tank, over 400 miles. The CVT is standard on my top trim limited model, while a 5-speed manual can be had on the base model. With an engine that's not quite as refined, and with less sound deadening, the Crosstrek is noticeably noisier inside than the Forester, also allowing for more talkback from the CVT. And as expected, the interior design, with its lack of creativity and less than exemplary materials, looks like that of an old Mazda protege. There is leather, a handy washable rear cargo mat, seats that fold easily, and ample passenger room. But for a vehicle with such an exciting stance, this sure is boring. With the optional $2,000 Navi and moonroof package, you get this maddening device I had already grew tired of in the Forester. It's actually got some really good features and unique displays, but good luck accessing them. The price of my tester is $27,305, and despite some criticisms of the cabin, I'm buying what the XV Crosstrek is selling. An outstandingly capable, go-anywhere wagon that packs Subaru's penchant for utility wrapped in a package that you actually like looking at. For Drive Time, I'm Steve Hammes.